Hey, I wanted to say a few words about the International Longshoremen's Strike, which shut down the East Coast ports and the Gulf Coast ports for three days. <clears throat> the first uh, comments I saw from the president, uh, his name is uh, uh, Harold Dag Daggett, was sort of profane, uh, cussing. Uh, it's, it's stuff I, I really don't like. Uh, uh, um, when when it comes to blue collar workers, that they're, to, for them toughness toughness is cussing a lot, and this talk that they do, the teamsters do a lot about a lot of it. The business agents from them too, and they've suffered lots of losses. It, the bosses are not afraid of MF and fuck you, and then the bosses are not afraid of that. And um, but what I was watching for, I put wrote a piece for the blog a, a, a few days ago, and I, I have to say I feel that it's pretty much. Uh, I think I was pretty much spot on. What they've done is they've got a, um, and I'm doing this because I'm not sure I'll get around to writing it. I had to do some work in the yard. But but, but um, that what they've got basically, what Biden got was he got the Taft-Hartley through the extension of the contract and a cooling cooling off period. Jerry Brown used to use that and the, and the governors of California when the BART goes on trike the subway system in the Bay Area because it's potentially very powerful. It can shut down the economy of the Bay Area and the union leaders don't want that. It'll give workers expectations that, oh, look how powerful we are. And of course the bosses don't want it. So they've got their, they got their Taft-Hartley through the cooling off period and the contract has not been passed or anything on that. It's not been voted on. They don't have to vote on strikes, I don't believe. But it's not been voted on, and um, so it's been extended. We've done that when I was active in the unions. It's been extended to January the 15th. The, and if they settle then, it'll be retroactive for pay, so they don't lose money under those circumstances. But the big issue that they say they want to take up is the, uh, um, um, the issue of automation. They're not going to stop automation. What I said in my last article, there'll probably be a sweetener, and you've seen it with the $24 an hour increase over six years, which is not exactly incredible, but it's a, it's, it's a lot from what they were offering. I think they were offering uh, 52 or something. So they got that. They, they got that. They got the sweetener. And my view is what they will get in, in, in January, if, it, if it's settled, they will get um, some sort of deal similar to the deal in 1960 with the West Coast docks and the ILWU, uh, where they will give up jobs, uh, uh, but they will grandfather people in and they will get some compensation and this, that and the other. But in the main, it will be the future that, that suffer. Uh, they were thousands of, lots of hours of overtime right now. Not everybody earns a, 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 the, the money that they earn. But the thing is, is when I, all that cussing and everything else, that tough is, bullsh is bullshit. If I'd have seen uh, an, uh, comments from him, you're not going to get them from him because he doesn't have the mentality. If, if, if you'd have seen one comment or one sentence that we're going to call a meeting with the Boeing workers, sit down and see how we can get together to help win our strikes and help change the face of the labor movement, that would scare the employer. That would scare them. Not, not but vulgar language, you know, I'm going to throw you. That's all. That's to fool his members. It's insulting, really, because blue collar workers, we do think, you know, we do think. And of course, in the letter he sent out, you'll see it. I'll, I'll post that. And uh, in it, when he's talking to Biden and, and Buttigieg or whatever his name is, he's not talking that way then because they have the real power. They have the real power. But we'll, we'll see what happens. But those of you that are not in unions and, and the, uh, 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 have a lack of understanding about them. Uh, I hope uh, to get to you to get you think of, to think about it. The massive power that they have. The, 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 the although we're only seven percent of the workforce, thirty five, thirty two percent in public sector, we control the the uh, machinations or the cogs of the wheel that work the economy. They just won't use it, and that, I don't want to go into that here. There's a lot about that on the blog. But uh, that's just a little update in case I don't write. That's my, my prediction for, uh, for January.